So this is the Armour Creighton 8S EXB that many people will argue is the Traxxas X-Max killer, which in my opinion is the world's best RC car. So the Creighton EXB is a good contender, but it did have a couple of problems. The main one being that we bent the chassis. Oh dear, look at that. Now on the smaller Creighton EXB, we had the same problem, and the solution was a radical RC bash bar that just bolts onto the bottom of the chassis and it just stiffens the whole thing up. And this thing here took an absolute hiding and it made it like a hundred times stronger. So Dean, who makes the bash bars from radical RC, is coming over with a bash bar. So we're gonna straighten the chassis, then we're gonna fit it, and then we're gonna take it out and give it absolute hell to see how well it holds up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a job you hate? Imagine if you could make more money from the comfort of your own home. That was my dream and it became a reality once I started selling on eBay. And I've now taught hundreds of people my secrets. So just check out the results here from some of my students. So if you're sick of that 9 to 5 and you want to make more money than a doctor from the comfort of your own home, then click on the link down below and I'll show you how. We also broke the chassis brace and the steering rack, so we've got to fix that too. And the rear arm's got a crack in it here, look, but I've ordered some RPM ones, so hopefully this will last until they turn up. We overheated the motor and it started cogging. What cogging means is that it can't make its mind up really which way to go, so when you try and accelerate, it just sort of goes... So we've got to see what's going on there too. Waffle, waffle, waffle! So with the EXB chassis being a millimetre thicker than the stock one, they've machined parts out so that all the standard parts still fit. This chassis really does look impressive, but I don't know. I don't know why it bent, guys. I mean, 7075 is supposed to be the pinnacle of RC chassis, but maybe they just use some Chinese grade. I don't know. So let's have a look now where we need to straighten it, and by the looks of it, around about here somewhere. Uh, here and here. Hmm... Something else I just noticed, look at the motor guys, it was slamming down into the chassis. Look here, look, you can see little stress cracks on the anodizing. It's starting to make the end of that motor egg-shaped. And you can see here on the chassis where it's been hitting. So once we've got the right gear mesh set on this, we're going to shove a bit of mastic underneath the motor, just to give it a little bit of cushioning, like we did on the 6S rigs. Alright, let's try and straighten this jalopy. <laughs> So we got it pretty good at the front now. At the front here, it's supposed to have this little bend here, but coming onto the back, we still got a bend here and here. Oops, too far. Guys, I'm having a really tough time believing that this is actually 7075. It just seems to bend so easy. And it's supposed to be 7075 T6, which is supposed to be the best grade. Now, I just want to compare it to this M2C chassis. And bear in mind, this is only four millimeters thick. The EXP chassis, the Creighton chassis, is five millimeters thick. So we're going to hit it on here, the same as we did the other one. And yes, it has got extra bracing on here, but that bracing isn't going to have anything to do with if it, if it bends across here or not. So there we go, we're starting off straight. Right, that's how hard we hit it on the Creighton one to start with. And it's done nothing. Yep, still nothing. Yep, still looking good. So yeah, this is definitely made out of a better material. I've got a funny feeling that this is telling porkies. Now I do. Overall, I really do like this truck, but this chassis is a major, major disappointment. Personally, I would much rather pay an extra 50 to $100 to get like a proper chassis like what M2C uses. What do you reckon, guys? Give me a note in the comments. Next, we've got to fit a new steering rack. So guys, one big weak spot on these is that the screws, they pull out of the bulkheads really easily when you're doing big jumps. But you can get longer screws in. Uh, we'll just see how far we can go in. Then we'll go over to my little screw drawers. And more importantly are these ones here. So that's how long the screw can be. And a stock screw, look at that, it's a little bit short. But you can actually get a drill and drill these out to be a little bit deeper. That's going to make it a lot stronger. So here I've got a four millimeter drill bit. So now we can get these 25 millimeter long screws in. We compare that to the stock one, look, we've got a lot more thread on there. 
And then if we look under here, you can just see the tip of that screw poking through the bulkhead. And if you want to do the same for your one, just type in M5 by 25 countersink screws into eBay. Then we're going to go ahead and do the same in the rear. So for now, we're going to leave these screws here out because we've got to put the bash bar on there anyway. So next, I want to plug into batteries and power it up and make sure that this motor, now that it's cooled down, is not cogging. Haha, <laughs> it's all right. Now guys, I'm going to have to get a small opinion. I haven't got one yet. So we're going to take it out as it is, but we're just going to make sure that we're not going to overheat it. We'll just run it for a couple of minutes and then it cool down. <laughs> all we've got to do now, wait for Dean to turn up, fit the bash bar and then go out and give it hell. Good afternoon. Hey! How are we? How we are got we? Mr. Bashbar in the house. Are we good, Mr. Bashbar? Mr. Dean himself. Is that my name? What yeah, what, what you got for us? New Creighton EXB with the new 7075 T65 mil chassis, which you've still managed to bend, you legend. I've already told him all that bit. Have you? Okay, yeah, yeah. We'll tell him again. And we're going <laughs> to pop this on now. So we've got an Allen key for them. That's a couple of seconds. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're making hard work of it. Okay, oh yeah. <laughs> Boom. Boom! Two. Boom! That's it, done. That took that. probably five minutes. If that. Oh, look, we got Ian and Claire in the house! Oh, look, what happened here? What do you reckon? Oh, oh. that sounded like it broke. Oh, dear me. All right, so now we're going to take it out and give it hell. Uh, in we go. In <laughs> we go. What's going on here? <laughs> Annoying, isn't it? No. <laughs> I, I <don't... laughs> oh, Claire's making friends again. That's not trolley you got there, Dean. It's nice, isn't it? Where'd you get that from? Your, your boot. Because he's got a Corelli Jumbo. Techno, ET. Clayton 8S. Oh, he's got his bash bar on there, his skin. Yeah. It's got a bash bar on it. Of course it has. Team Corelli one. Oh, check that. Oh, that fits nice around all them skip plates, isn't it? Almost as wide as the chassis look. How long are they going to last you today? I'd like to get 10 minutes. I like your new merch. Well, not this here, but it's a bit hey. It's a bit cold. The best batteries you can buy, Tesco. Oh, nice. <laughs> the finest. The finest Tesco <laughs> finest. Oh, that's a bit rude, isn't it? Oh, yeah, they are, they are a bit rude. What happened? What well, happened? I got a facial. facial. Of what? Oh, Dean gave me a facial. A tire facial. There's water. <laughs> There's water in them, look. Right? The... Oh, yeah, you Have you blown it, it out? Yeah. No. That was just the water. Yeah, we're good. We're good. It's only water. You're not, you're not made of sugar. We're going to run Dean's ones first, and then after that, we're going to get my one out. <laughs> Where's that VHS tape? Oh, what happened? That's popped out. Oh no! Did they just pop back in? <laughs> oh! I think you've got to really take it apart. Oh, oh you're joking. Be... That's another How Many Idiots picture. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was good. Testing the durability of that mash bar. So I'll look at a minute after all this, see how straight it still is. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh man, I feel bad for it. The poor co rally. Oh, wings hanging off. Oh, he's a madman. Just testing it. <laughs> How's the bash bar looking? The bash bar's looking perfectly fine. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, battery's out! Rambo! <laughs> oh, we've broken it! Oh! Or the wheelie bar mount. Is that the car's fault or the driver's fault? Driver's fault. What's we'll the old chassis looking like? Perfectly straight. Let me be the judge of that! Straight as a die! Round number three. We got all the spectators. <laughs> got dad over there, look. 
<laughs> he's 20 years old and he's got five children. Oh, there comes another one, six children. Oh no, I never knew about you, son. Oh no, here we go, round, round, God knows. Oh, and he landed it, nice! Ian up there without cast, which is now in Notorious. Oh, nice landing. Oh, oh, killed it. Oh, it's just popped that out again. You're gonna have to get Radical RC to make something. Definitely, that's not good. Oh, oh, no. oh there goes Ian. Oh, and he's killed it. Oh, my tough baby. What happened? How's that come out? Game over. Oh, but I'll just go and get the plug so we can kill this. Oh no, next victim. Oh no. Oh, he landed. Oh, oh! I think we're good. Nice. Oh! Oh, tumble wumble. Oh! <laughs> Are we looking on the old chassis? Still looking straight? Pretty much. Oh, you whipped it! <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 oh my god! Poor Creighton. Oh, Dean's being brave. That's stupid. <laughs> Here we go. My go. Ready, steady, go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, tumble wumble. Oh, tumble. Oh, Bash bar's looking perfect. No, I think we're good. Oh, uh, no, we killed a shark. It's not broken, it's just pulled it out of the bottom. What's going on down here? Finger wings got too heavy, Kev. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so my one is kind of fixed again. It might not last very long. It takes it. To do a forward flip. <laughs> So good. Oh, is that looking a bit? Yeah. Pulled. Oh, bent the pin. Yeah. Oh, in the oh. face. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, this could be a bash bar tester, couldn't it? <laughs> hey, look. Oh, we bent it. No. We bent it in half. No. <laughs> Turn the camera off. <laughs> that was perfect. Perfect. <laughs> wow. And that was a right. That was that was a chassis yeah. right off. Right there. Right I there. I actually That's believed you then. <laughs> <laughs> I was like that. There you go, guys. <laughs> If you want to get yourself one of these bash bars for your RC cars, check out Radical RC. Link to that's going to be down below. And that's the cheapest way to make these things durable. Quick speed run. And how fast do you reckon it's I going? I reckon it's going to do 60 across the grass. What do you look reckon? I reckon 60. It does yeah. look quick. It's quick, but I don't know about 60 quick. I want to go with 55. Good to go. Ah, oh, cut out. I think it's got warm. It's over geared. What? 58? You oh, joking? 58. <laughs> See, that's doing 68 then, because that was nothing. Yeah, that, that was, was nothing. nothing. I cut out. No.